team makes it this far, they're up against some pretty stiff competition. Dick, let's see how they'll fare in this final four matchup between the TCU Horn Frogs and the UCLA Bruins. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Bruins, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second of all, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And lastly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Both teams looking to get things going here. Goes up for two. And he missed. On the dribble, gives it up. And up and in and out. Accepts it. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented marks like they have. Yeah, that helps. the pass in the paint for the bucket doesn't go he'll regroup the offense the center handles the feed there's the trap got an open look if he wants it with a deep shot from outside way off target inside the power forward receives the pass that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. On the outside, Rice handles the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Drains it. Number 32 with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looks at a three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Foot that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Receives the ball. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They waited too long on that double. Yeah, that trap was snapped. Trying to pack it inside. Tries for two. Sinks the shot. Fed the low block. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, but he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive play. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Looking for a good shot. On the inside, he makes the block. There's the pick. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Looking for the foul, and he scores it off the glass. Go 
goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Patterson is feeling good. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Up fake. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That'll take some flight on the defensive end. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Gets it back out. For the bucket. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Up and inside. Nice high post screen. Way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. TCU are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Look at that spacing. Got the shot if he wants it. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Launches the three. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Will take the shot. Off the rim and no good. And a momentary look from three-point land. Kicks it out. Tries one from three-point land. Way off target. Good job defensively. Gave it up. They run it up into transition. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He gets the board. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Children comes up with it. There was no doubt about that one. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket.
get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And right in the circle. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. They'll work it around the arc. The Bruins really get it done on defense. It's great to know that when shots aren't falling, your team can rely on their defense. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. Working around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. From right in the circle. And it's no good from downtown. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right. He blocks the shot. It's a block party out there. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. For two. TCU is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Goes up for two. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. In the paint. Looking for contact. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. All right, thanks, Erin. He steps up to the line. First shot, good. Cashed it in. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. He makes a nice shot fake. Now they'll bring it up. Stolen away. Now on the run the other way. Puts it up, looking for contact. Childer makes the finger roll. Step out on that screener. Great play to take that to the basket. around the perimeter looking for a screen on top and got it I tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box there's a bad pass right to the defender
Working it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. TCU are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. In and out. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job front of and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? for two doesn't go and they get the turnover now the other way oh, he's got hops like you man he got hops <laughs> like you yeah, it is pretty similar ah, I didn't realize my partner was a high rise Come with a double team to stop it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking to move it around the perimeter for two. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Inside. There's the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Up and in. The skip pass is picked off. Side. On the outside, he up fakes. He throws it up from downtown, off the rim, and no good. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. Rice picks up the foul. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He attempts a jump hook. They still don't score. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Two, and he missed. Defensively down the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. 
Fakes the shot. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. UCLA are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. UCLA definitely has that aura and that presence about. Well, you've got the Wizard of Westwood, a rich history, undefeated seasons, the championships. The accolades go on and on, Brad. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. it inside and the ball goes out of bounds they're working around the arc let's see if they go two for one here Dick work the perimeter spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. They move it into the front court. two and off the mark he puts it in with contact and all and the ball goes out of play I've seen you out there with pom-poms Mr. Vitale but not looking that good I tell you what don't look that good I can't dance like that baby trying to draw the foul oh yes and halftime the Horn Frogs are behind by three Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. TCU allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the lock, you're not going to win many games. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up for two. In and out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He may be in trouble here, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Looks at the three. He hits the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots way off target. Takes away the pass. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. He rejects it. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. 
He takes the three. He gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the rim and no good. Tries to get the D to bite. Controlling the ball. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gave it up for the bucket. They still don't score. Lane makes a great move to draw the foul. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He goes to the line for the first time. Nothing but rim. He gets it to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From the top of the key, Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. the circle he nails the bucket up and inside the center takes the pass too much that's a foul dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up you think hey brad that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves how can they as coaches get the most out of their guards are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Momentary look from three-point land. The point guard gets the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender. Goes in. They work it around the perimeter. Pull-up jumper from way out. He drains the bucket. The center with the ball. Perfectly executed. Replay of the night, baby. Great double team, really explosive. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. And he'll kick it back outside. Takes the outside jumper. It's good. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He puts up the tray, knocks it down. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Let's
lets it fly. Rims out. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. The small forward gets the pass. He nails the shot. The power forward takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Fakes a jumper. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Leans in. Up. Easy one. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He looks for three. Drains the shot. Let's get another look, Brad. shot goes up for two off the rim and no good jumped in front to take it away no thanks high post flashes for the ball handler Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. UCLA have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Here's a double team. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Picked out of the air. The Bruins have a somewhat unique style of play. Hey, bullies. They're good bullies out there. Being physical is the name of their game. Two, perfectly executed. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Rims out. He intercepts it. Off the rim and no good. Looking 
to move it around the perimeter. From way outside. Gets it to fall. Jump hook from the low post. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Definitely a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The post flashes up high if he wants it for the bucket. Buries it. Guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Side. Guns up the deep one. He drains the bucket. Had a momentary look from three-point land. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his boards. And look at him running out there like a wacko. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Face it. They work it around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. And off the mark. Steals the pass. knocking the ball loose then getting possession great play to take that to the basket he comes away with it with a quarterback pass isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper in the paint pressure that basketball Tries for two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. There's a double team waiting there. For the deuce. Rims out. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Two off the rim and no good. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Rice draws. 
as the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Second one is good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. He unloads a three. Rims out. With a little baby hook, TCU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. They're working around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Sets his he rejects it. Off the rim and no good. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He gives him the fake. He puts it up. Rims out. On the outside. In the paint. He gets that one to fall. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. There's the trap. He takes it away. The Bruins are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Let's it fly. Rims out. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They still don't score. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice fake. He shoots from the top of the key. TCU are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he'll kick it back outside. He puts up the tray. Buried it.
things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect them to quiet down, did you, Dick? High screen. Goes up for two. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call a game management rat. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And we'll go to the free throw line. Buries it. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes the second. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Dick, you've said it so many times survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The Bruins started this tournament with one goal, make it to the finals. Hey, don't be fooled, Brad. This team will be satisfied with just being a runner-up and getting to the big show. They have one game to win, and they'll be crowned NCAA champions. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews,